And I'm back with another reading. I'm reading for my savages, my Sagittarius, my me's, okay? I'm a Sagittarius. And today we're going to be talking about our exes, okay? So I did a little reading for me, so I'm, I'm very interested if it's going to be similar. But I do believe that understanding the energies surrounding you and your partner and how y'all um, interfere with each other and the interactions do help you grow. Okay, and it helps you understand who you are and what you like and what you allow and what you won't allow. So I do feel like it's beneficial to understand your partner's energy, your ex-partner's energy. Okay, if this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. If not, you can look up your moon and your rising sign to get a different perspective of your energy. Or you can go watch another motherfucker's video. I don't give a damn. Listen, I love people who love me. I'm attracting to people who attract me okay and who is attracted to me so with that being said let's get started so who is Sagittarius X who is Sagittarius X who is Sagittarius X okay let's get started okay page of cups ten of cups the Hierophant. Hmm. Okay. So I'm seeing that your partner, most likely, you either have children with them or they want to fuck another chance. They want to fuck another chance, which I'm not surprised, okay? I'm seeing some of them are very immature, okay? But they saw you as the complete package, their happiness, okay? Um, the complete package. I mean, Family, love, social life, career. They just saw you as everything. I'm not fucking surprised, though. And then we have the higher fence. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. Not all of us. But you could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm saying you could have been married to this person. Okay? Or you, you guys were very emotionally attached or spiritually attached. Okay? Or you could have met this person in college. Um, let's get some clarity on these cards, okay? Clarify the Page of Cups. What type of offer? What is the Page of Cups from Sagittarius X? Oh, okay. They want to offer you some type of... Something that will heal you, okay? They want you to forgive them. Okay, I'm saying they want forgiveness. They want you to move on. They want to move on from this. Okay, so I'm saying they're offering you, they want to talk to you about forgiveness. That's what I'm saying. They want you to forgive them. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. What is the Six of Swords? Oh, yeah, see, look at this the Three of Cups. So you could possibly have children with them. Um, also, a scenario that I'm seeing is that their friends and family and people around them are telling them to get over it. Telling them to move on. Okay? Telling them to move on. Look at that. Judgment. Judgment. Okay? I'm seeing whatever... I'm seeing that... Your ex is wanting to reach out to you, Sagittarius, but they're having different opinions from their friends and family, and they're compelled to make a huge decision. Now, I don't know what type of decision that they're going to make. Let's see if we can get some clarity. Let me... I'm thinking to clarify with these. But it, it's like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And they need to, they feel like they have to do something, okay? I'm saying they want to talk to you. I'm saying they feel compared to talk to you. But th their friends and family is telling them to move on. This can also be an ex. Let's see. When I mean ex, I mean their ex. Or their, whoever they're in a relationship with. Okay, what is the judgment? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this popped out. 
the ace of pentacles okay yeah they so they want to come back to you or they want to get in another back in a relationship with you but their friends and family is dictate dictating to them that they should not or they're just getting conflicting information what is this ace of pentacles i'm saying they want another relationship or you to talk to them or something the death so you could be dealing with a scorpio but I'm saying they want you to look at them totally different and they want to they want you to forgive them and they want you to hear them out. They want to transform the nature of the relationship. Now, um, <clears throat> for some of you guys, that means they want to get back in a relationship. And for some of you, they just want you to forgive them. Okay, let's look at the Ten of Cups. What is the Ten of Cups? Yeah, so some of you guys could have been dealing with the Leo. But I do see children involved. So if you have children with this person, they want their child in their life, okay? Um, also, I'm saying that they can be a bit immature on how they see the future with you. They can be a bit immature about that. Let's get some more clear, clarification. But they are very happy when it comes to you, Sagittarius. Like, when... They're very, they were very happy with you. Even though it, there was probably a lot of bullshit going on in the relationship, they were very happy. Look, you have the Five of Swords. So they're, they're like, hmm. They feel like they can't be happy with you. Um, maybe you put up boundaries, okay? Or you just completely cut them out of your life. I know that's what the fuck I did. But I don't know about all my Sagittarius. I mean, we... We do have that that <laughs> quality in us that once things have reached a certain level, it's like, fuck you. Now, we do have a tendency to forgive um, unnecessarily. Like, we sh a lot of shit we shouldn't forgive. But what I'm seeing is that, and this can be reversed, but either you or them, they want to reach out. They want to speak to you. They, they have so much to say, but they feel like they can't. They're stuck in some type of way. Either you have blocked them or they just know that the situation was so fucked up that it's like, how can I ever, you know, how can I ever get them to talk to me? Like, what can I say? Okay. Let's get some more clarity on these cards. King of Wands, see? The King of Wands. Like, this is your energy, Sagittarius. But also, if you can be dealing with a, um, a Sagittarius X or an Aries or Leo. But what I'm seeing is, like, they see you, like, sitting on the throne. Like, you have the fucking power. Like, it's up to you. They feel like, you know, you're just in a position to where you dictate the um you're dictating the situation with queen of cups wow so some of y'all could be dealing with a scorpio like i said cancer or pisces and i'm seeing that it's like they have two different emotions when it comes to you one is very passionate and fiery and either like upset and the one is very like loving and and understanding but i'm seeing that are there's people in their head okay there's people in their head let's clarify these um the queen of cups i'm also seeing that you they showed you two different sides or that they were playing games with you i also see that um they feel like you complete them okay yeah or you could be dealing with a virgo or virgo but this is the five of cups <clears throat> they're unfulfilled. They're so unfulfilled. Um, they're regretting how the situation happened. Okay? They're regretting everything. They are regretting everything. Let's clarify the hair fence. Okay? Clarify the hair cut for me. Yeah, they're regretting everything. They want a connection. They want to see you in some type of way. They want to talk to you. Some of them just want to co-parent effectively with their kids. And, yeah, the moon. So, some of you guys are speaking with the Pisces. And I'm seeing, woo, that's, hmm, that they could be married to a Pisces, okay? Or talking to the Pisces, okay? 
I'm also seeing that. Let's see. I'm also seeing that. They, whatever decision they made to end the relationship or how you could have ended with them due to other reasons. But whatever decision they made, I'm seeing it's because that you don't truly know everything about this person. And the other party might have, okay? I'm seeing that they're having a lot of sleepless nights and they're thinking about um, you. Or they could just be getting remarried to this, this person, okay? Whoever, what person this is. Um, let's clarify the moon. So I'm seeing that they went on a journey from the sun to the moon, from light to darkness. So right now I'm seeing that, you know, you were their sun and how they see you, but right now I'm seeing like you're out their lives. Okay. And then they're with the moon. So yeah, let's clarify this moon. Oh, justice. Whatever they fucking did to you, you're going to, they are now going through the karma of their actions towards you, Saggies. I already fucking knew that was going to happen. You could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Also, I'm seeing that with this, it means that they are, if you guys are going through any legal dispute, it's going to be fair, okay? It's going to be fair. Um, so depending on what side you on, it it be in your favor. If you're on, you know, if you're on the fair side, the right side, then it'd be in your favor. But if you're doing it out of, you know, pettiness or revenge or anything like that, then it's it's not gonna go in your favor. Whatever intentions um you have will be in your favor, okay? But what I'm seeing is that either this person that they win, their ex or whatever, they are now receiving the karma. That they put you through by their ex doing the same shit. Or just by different situations but the same feelings. Okay. So they're getting their karma. Also like I said if you're going to go for child support you're going to get it. It might take you a little minute but you're going to get it. Um, spousal support. It's all going to be in your favor. Okay. With the justice card it's a beautiful card because it's just. It's justice. You know. Let's get some clarity on these cards. Let's get some clarity. Hmm. See, they're not satisfied. They are not satisfied at all. The four of cups just mean, mm, I don't give a fuck about it. So if somebody is giving them an offer, somebody is like wanting to be with them, or they're already in a relationship, Sagittarius, and they're just, their heart is not in it. If you look at this picture, it's like, he is like, nah, I can give a damn. I got these three shit down here, and I'm sitting by a tree. I don't, there's something even coming from the sky, and I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn if it's a UFO, if it's a pot of money. <laughs> I don't give a damn. And I'm saying that's their karma. Their karma is for them to be unhappy because that's how they made you. Yep, and like I said, it's crazy because the hermit eventually start, came out anyways. So, um, this is a Virgo. But also, this is stating that they're doing a lot of self-reflection. Okay, they're... Thinking about shit and what, how they played a part in certain situations between you guys, okay? And they, let's see. It's like, if you look at this picture, they're holding up something like a lantern and it's bright. So they have shit in front of them, but you look at his head. He's like, not even giving a fuck. Like, they're not happy. <laughs> they're not giving a fuck. And it might look like, I mean, you might see them on social media or you might see their ex on social media just like bragging how happy they are. But that's a fucking lie. See, look, these motherfuckers want to be single. And if they are single, they're trying to regain their happiness, their independency. Okay, I feel like they lost this, their self in this relationship. What type of advice do we have for my Sag? What advice do we have for my Sagittarius? Okay, because I'm saying this could be dealing with child and child support or spouse support. This could be ex-husband or wife. But I'm seeing their family and friends got too involved within the relationship. And these motherfuckers are impulsive and they just go with the wind, whatever feels right. Okay, they are compelled. They feel the need to say something to you and for you to look at them differently. Um, like I said, they see you as happiness. Your ex, your ex to you is happiness and love, but they just feel like they can't come 
to you because there's boundaries, okay? There's boundaries that have been made, okay? And they see you as, you know, they don't also, they don't know what response you're going to give them. Are you going to give them rejection, especially if you're in a new relationship, or, if, or are you going to be loving and understanding? They don't know, and that's what kind of having them like, Second guessing, even seeing shit to you. They don't know what they don't know what to do. They don't know what I'm saying. They don't know what to do. Who to believe? What to say? Um, they're dreaming about you. They're you know they could even be possibly getting married to somebody they don't love just to just to get over you. Okay, just to get over you. But whatever and that how that situation is going to play out that other relationship, they're going to get their karma. Okay, but they're not satisfied. They are not satisfied. Your ex is not satisfied where they're at, okay? And the advice I have for my Sagittarius, look, the page of cups. Give that love to somebody else, okay? Now, if this person can, I don't want to say go back to them because a lot of, you know, a lot of times you, you shouldn't go back, especially if that person hurt you in a way that no one has hurt you before. You can't trust them. The only thing you want to go back to is heartbreak. Unless someone has some catastrophic event, which I didn't see the tower card. Unless someone has like a catastrophic event that occurred um, in their life or they just went through, then yeah, I would think differently. But I don't see anything changing from him. From them, I'm saying they, they just go with the wind. They they want to talk to you. I'm not seeing anything that's like they hate you or anything. I do see love. We have the Ten of Cups representing the, the sun. So I see love. You, you brought them happiness, you know. You brought them happiness. But with this card, it's like be careful who you give your love to, okay. Let this relationship be an eye-opener to who you want in your life and what you don't want in your life, okay? With this, offer your love wisely. Also, think about who you want to have children with. I wish I would have, I, I wish I would have took my own damn advice, you know? But if this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty.